What's up you guys? Today I'm gonna to be walking you through my three all-time favorite breakfasts. The first recipe is my beloved banana pancakes. So for this, you're gonna need almond milk, oats, two bananas, salt, cinnamon, vanilla, and baking powder. First up, I'm gonna add two bananas and break them in half and add them into my blender. What's really nice about these is you can just make these directly in the blender, so you just blend up your pancake mix and you're good to go. That is a big chunk of rotten banana. No thank you. Next up, I'm gonna add two eggs directly into my blender. One and a half cups of oats. I love that this recipe does oats instead of flour, so it's gluten-free. We're gonna add a half cup of almond milk, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. It also calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. I use vanilla bean paste. This is from Trader Joe's. This is the best stuff ever. Now we're gonna blend this up. You might have to add a little bit of extra almond milk to get it started when you're blending it. Now that it's all blended, let's open it up. Now we've got our banana pancake batter. It smells so good. This is what the consistency looks like. It is a little bit of a thicker batter. It turned out great. I'm so excited. Let's make some pancakes. one. Okay, let's take a bite. They're so good every time. Now we've got my oatmeal recipe. This is my simple, basic recipe that I love. I just pour oats into a bowl with almond milk. I don't measure either, but this is an easy thing to measure if you do count macros, and then I cook it in the microwave. I then like to top my oatmeal with fruit. Today I'm using banana and raspberries. These are some of my favorites. And I add peanut butter. This is pretty much the key to making oatmeal so, so good. I either use peanut butter or almond butter. And then I like to sprinkle chia seeds on top. This is a really fast and simple breakfast. Oatmeal is so good and helps sustain me throughout the day, especially adding in that peanut butter. So I hope you give this a try and love it. There are a bunch of other oatmeal recipes, but this is the basic one that I always keep going back to. Last is my eggs. I love having eggs in the morning and I have two favorite preparations of them. The first is eggs, cheese, and spinach. This one is so delicious. You can make this as a scramble, but I like to make it as a flat patty, kind of like an omelet. I scramble three eggs and pour it into a small pan and I let it cook for quite a while and then I will add some spinach and let that start cooking down. I also like to add cheese on top and then I'll give it a little flip. This is the scary part, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Sometimes I'll add even a little bit more cheese just on top and then dig in. This is so good, one of my favorites and delicious. I also really love to have egg toast and hard boiled eggs. So I am boiling some eggs and while those are cooking, I saute spinach down. This is for my egg toast. Sourdough bread is my favorite. That is what I always, always use. And I just place a little piece of avocado. I chipped myself, so I added a little bit more, mash it down with a fork. Then I add my sauteed spinach. I make sure to salt it, the toast at this point, because avocado and spinach need a lot of salt. And then I add my tomatoes. Then I add my hard boiled eggs. I add a little bit more salt, pepper, and everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. This is an absolutely delicious breakfast and one of my all-time favorites that I eat all the time. And it's easy to make. All right, let's give this a little test. A little test. A little taste. Yep, that's pretty fan-freaking-tastic if you ask me. Oh! Oh! Well, be careful when you eat this. Egg down, egg down. Maybe if I put them like face down. Gotta eat it like this. <gasps> All my eggs are jumping ship. 
just one more bite. It tastes so good. I think I need to chop the spinach because it was like too big, so it's hard to get like the whole mouth. You just want like a little bit in each bite. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna clean my kitchen because rest in peace, this little egg just flew away. Do I have something in my teeth? All right, you guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you make any of these recipes, what you love, if you tweak them, whatnot. I hope you have a good breakfast, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.